Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of one of this week's Nightfalls. This is a Warden of Nothing. We're going to be running it on a Voidwalker Warlock uh, top tree of the subclass. I think it's Attunement of Chaos. Um, running with Void Singe, Heavyweight, Momentum and Match Game. Uh, a 110 uh, power handicap for a 570 score multiplier. I'll be using uh, Skull of Dire Arm Car. To obviously utilize the the new subclass or the the reimagined subclass upgraded subclass i'll be using a primary shotgun you can use any primary shotgun you want but i'll be using threat level uh i'll be using sort of calamity bow and hammerhead my hammerhead has a boss spec on it and my threat level has rampage so uh perfect paradox will work just as well it's just obviously my bow is going to act like an energy and a primary. So, basically we're going to make both way through the first part of this. I'm just using the shotgun so I can kill these enemies while still moving. There's no, you need to do this, or it's just a quick way of doing it. And then for the first wave of ads, we're going to attack them from up here. The reason we're going to attack them from up here is because you do take, with this score modifier, you take a bit of damage if you go down there. But as you can see, the ball doesn't really have too much problems with them. And I said this in a previous video, the previous Warlock video, I've got a lot of time for bows. I think they're the best addition to the arsenal and destiny that we've had for, for quite some time. So now that we took the goblins down, we can move forward. Now, there's still going to be one up, and then we're going to get... We're going to get those coming out the pods. Once we took those down, then it's just the Minotaur. And obviously the Hammerhead has no problem with the Minotaur. We'll take him out with the bow because we want to keep acquiring heavy ammo. It's a mantra. I'll keep, I keep saying it every run. So 14,000 a minute in. We're aiming for about 10,000 a minute. So... Once you activate this this console, you can run around the back of the, the the train and just make it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump up and take out the first goblin. I'm going to try and get a hit on some of those because if you if you do damage on those ads, you don't have to kill them. The train will kill them, but as long as you've done damage, it will credit you for the kill. You'll get points for the kill. I missed that goblin. Just missed him. So, make it down here, if my wallock will let go. And then there's an ad down here, we'll take this ad. And then we're going to drop down and we're going to get on, we're going to get on my sparrow. Now, the, for, for anybody that's interested, you guys probably know this, it goes left, uh, left, right, left, right. So, make sure that you're rotating your side. Shotgun this this elite and then we'll take out the first day take out the the hydra first because if you start shooting past the hydra it's common sense the hydra will turn around and could blindside you while you're not looking so yep we're just going to spray these from here and then last add now the reason i went a little bit i normally say to feather the 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 trigger but the reason i did go a little bit uh over the top is because we the next couple of, w the, the next six or seven ads, normally the super will deal with those, and I always seem to get heavy. So we'll take this uh, Minotaur, and then we're going to jump up on the tracks. You can sparrow past the tracks. But uh, just wait until it's gone. Wait until the train's gone, then we'll move forward. And there we go. Always seem to get heavy here. And I normally get heavy from these goblins. So there's a goblin here, we'll take him down, and there's another brick of heavy, we're back to full heavy. There's two goblins down to our left and one further up. So I've got uh, Rampage on my boat, as you can see on the left hand side. Someone, wa someone once asked me what inertia was. So I'll explain that. When you put momentum on, when you're not moving, you suffer from inertia, which is lack of movement basically. But that's what the perk is. Your health won't come back when you're not moving. And that's where the inertia is. That's why that appears on the, sc on the screen. So, we've cleared all the, the 
solitary ads. I'm going to break this, the shield, and I'll explain why. We'll throw one over, which will track. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but they shot my Nova. Now, I'm not sure if they shot it or if I shot it. Now, I think, I'm, I'm just thinking about it there. I know. How can I not know? I think what I tried to do, I was thinking about it at the time. I thought they'd shot my Nova. But looking at it, I think it's a problem with the Nova bomb. There's two issues with this new Nova bomb. The first one is, if you fire against a shielded enemy, for some reason, the Nova, you don't get the effectiveness from the Nova. Now, the first two Novas that I fire here uh, are just, like, pointless. So that first one, I fired trying to take down the Knight and actually hit my Nova bomb, which exploded it far too early, so it never actually done any damage to anybody. Now... So we'll, we'll, I'll explain what, what's going to happen with the second Nova Bomb when it happens. But we come up here and we're going to use these stairs to take out this this uh, Hydra. And then just work away at the ads from here. Now you are going to get some snipers. I, I couldn't know, know that this ad's been, been aggroed. I couldn't hit him. <laughs> he, the position he was in was just... Just couldn't hit him. So you want to take out the snipers the grenade has the, the same sort of effect on, on a treatment of chaos as as the the nova kills release more void seekers and you know you can chain damage it's, it's, it's such a good super so normally i would have had a super here and i would have been able to have fired my super at those this is where it's, I, I haven't experienced this before. So what's going to happen is I'm going to build my super. I'm actually trying to build the super because there's going to be more ads and we, you know for score purposes and all the rest of it. So going to build the super and I've just noticed it on the screen. I something I didn't notice when I was when I was doing this. So we're going to go. We're going to let the next wave of ads come towards us. And then we're going to fire our super and something strange happens. I can see on my screen now the Nova turns 90 degrees and hits the solitary goblin that was that was hiding behind there that I've just noticed he was appearing on my screen. So make sure that when you're firing that Nova there is nothing uh, in between you and where you're firing. Now it's not a big deal because my time's still good. And the score's still good. The bow is really strong for this part. You know, we're, we're quite we're quite well protected firing from back here. I know we're red, but <clears throat> we, we want to take down. So we've took down the, the... We've took down... I think the elites are the key to this. So we're going to back away. As you see, we took down the last elite. I should have went and got my health back, but because of where I am, I he can't hit me. And what we've done, and I never mentioned at the start, I don't have an I don't have a healing rift. I have an empowering rift. You need you need that for the one phase on the boss with the warlock. Because if you're using Thunderlord, which I normally would, if you're using Thunderlord, the Thunderlord makes up with it with its lightning effect. The, the hammerhead, even with boss spec, it's not as effective as the Thunderlord. But works pretty well. We're eight minutes in, we've got 100,000. So, on to the next part. This is all of these parts are pretty simple if you follow this 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 uh, strategy. So, say we've had two, two super malfunctions, uh, normally we wouldn't have those. So take out the two snipers and then basically work your way through these ads. If you see uh, some shielded, uh, if you see some shielded, don't don't be scared to use the hammerhead. You'll get more heavy in this section from the way that we're attacking it. You know, <clears throat> just work through. Make sure you don't push up too far because as 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 we know, there's a wanted here. He does arc, and even though we've not got an arc burn, it still hurts. So 
run away, get your health back. And just a couple of hits. Very easy there. We've got a shielded guy there. Now, as you see, I've <coughs> I took down his shield with the ball. Excuse me. <coughs> I took down his shield with the ball. And the explosion, because we're on void. And because he's uh, like an incendor. I think that's what they're called, an incendor. Uh, because he's he he's one of the flame guys. <laughs> flame guys. Uh, his tank is, is, is obviously... It's his crit point. So once you take his shield down, he's a one hit. Incendior. Incendior? Incendior. Incendior. <laughs> uh, I do crack myself up sometimes. So, the flame guy, <laughs> once you take his shield down, his tanks are the, a crit point and it obviously creates an area of effect. Explosion. Always good to try and take them down. So you'll have two snipers up there. We, we took those. There's a couple ads here. And then when you push to, to where we've just killed that normal legionnaire, uh, there'll be two more snipers. One left, one right. You really don't want to get get in the, you know into their sights. So the, the wanted enemy hasn't left. We're not going to mess with the wanted enemy. We've got no arc. We're not going to mess with them. We get a good enough score here. So there, there's your sniper to the right. And there's your sniper to the left. And that leaves one more legionnaire. Legionary. But what he's a legionnaire. That's what I call him. <laughs> he's a friend of mine. We went to school together. Good friend of mine. So, 142,000. Now, this is the area some people seem to have a problem with. So, we're going to fire our super. And we're hoping to get a, quite a bit of super energy back. Which we did. We never got as much as I would have liked. I would have expected, actually, with the, the cluster of ads to have got more. But I'm not going to complain, because by the time we clear this area, we should have our super. A lot of void shields here. A lot of clustered ads, which means we can, you know, there we go, we've got a super. Take, make sure you take the snipers. And then we've got one more legionary and one more incendor. Now, that now you're going to have to access three plates, and this is the way I do it. You've got that cannon, I completely ignore it, and I run over here, and I access all the, the mines. Explode all the mines, because plate A will have started, the adds will have started coming out, but you're not the focus. So you can attack them while they're not focusing on you. And it makes it, you know, very straightforward. When you get onto the plate, there's one more add up there. I thought I'd change to my bow there. We can now, while we're on this plate, we can take the Minotaur that's over on B, I think. And we can maybe throw a grenade. I probably could have thrown my super. We can take out some of the other adds. What that leaves is on my next plate, as you can see, we took a couple out on 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 C, on the C uh, B. There's only a couple of these goblins. Now I th there are, there is obviously there's a there's a flame guy, there's an incendio. And and it, we actually get a second minotaur, which is good for score. It's not good for him, but we're not going to get any more ads here. So what we can do is just take what time reload, take out some of these. Take out some of these ads while we're on the plate. And then as we move to the next plate, Fire the super, take out as many of these ads, and just use your heavy to mop up the rest of them. Very simple. There's one more, I think. Two more. We'll take them out with a bow, try and get some heavy. There you go, heavy straight away. And that's a very simple way of doing the plates. Explode the mines on A, from A to C. And then as you're coming back up, A will be activated, the plate will be activated, so you can attack the goblins and the elites without them focusing you. You can take the minotaur that's going to be down on B from A, and maybe throw a grenade up to C, and then throw your super at C as you're on your way to it. And it... It 
really does leave you in a strong position. Now what I do here is I'm only interested in the boss. So I come up here and attack the boss from up here. We've got 183 rounds. The thing about the, um, obviously we've got more heavy. The thing about the hammerhead is it doesn't really compete. It's not supposed to, I don't think, but it doesn't compete with the Thunderlord for damage. So you can't, you need more, more damage with the hammerhead to one phase the boss. So that is why we never had, and you've probably noticed, I never used my uh, rift the whole way through because it's an empowering rift. So what we're going to do is when we get down to the boss area, there'll be a couple of adds. We're going to kill a couple of them, leave one up, get into position to put down more rift, kill the last add, fire a super at the boss, wait for the super to hit the boss, and then start hitting him with a hammerhead, and that should finish him. It's the best way to do it with, with the hammerhead is to actually uh, have the empowering rift and fire your super. So, and that, that that's basically all we're going to do here. Take out a couple of the ads, but leave one up so that we can get into position. And the position is over by the open, where the chest spawns, basically, that direction. So, there's two cabal. We'll take one out. We'll get into position, which is over here. We'll put, we'll kill him. Put down more rift face in this direction. When the boss comes, we'll fire our super, and then as soon as the super hits them, we'll start melting them. Make sure you get off as many crits as possible, as I say. And it's 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 meltage. And I was very lucky in this run. Uh, I got the the hand cannon. Warden's law. It wasn't the procured version, and I'd already had one, but just to show you that even just doing runs like this will get you it, get you the Nightfall specific rewards. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I appreciate your viewership as always, and I will see you in the next video. Right. You for hire? I'll be in touch.